Dreamer, the Sky God has been searching for you. Where have you gone to, Dreamer? Whose dreams are you dreaming? After we left Hong Kong, uh, we always wanted to make uh, the third game in, in the longest journey saga. Uh, we had been doing lots of press for uh, Conan and The Secret World, uh, and people were always asking, like, okay, this looks great, but when is the next uh, Dreamfall game coming out? Uh, Dreamfall kind of ended with some cliffhangers, and it was always meant to be a two games in that cycle, to put it like that. It was always meant to be two games. Um, and Funcom were kind enough to give us, uh, or let us make that game. Um, because Ragnar was the writer on the first two games, so it made sense that he would sort of carry that license with him uh, and make this game. Uh, so he asked us if uh, we were interested, and uh, we were very interested. But we didn't have any funding, but we thought that Kickstarter might be uh, a really good way to go because we knew that it had a fan base. We weren't really sure about like how big, but we knew that there were at least some. Uh, and we thought if we can do this uh, without publishers, just do this ourselves, uh, that would be amazing. And that's what made us go on Kickstarter. The feeling of the Kickstarter was amazing. Uh, it was it was humbling and it was amazing because we didn't have any guarantees for for anything. We we, as I said, we, we knew that we had some fans, but we didn't know how many. So, when we right before we pressed the big red button to go on Kickstarter, we, we had this talk uh, where Ragnar talked and said like, okay, this might go really bad, and then we have to just find some other way, but it might go well, we don't know. But we pressed the button, and uh, just like a minute after, the, the, the pledges started coming in. And we, we had a sound that played every time we got a new pledge, and it was plinging like every three seconds it was incredible and uh, when we when we <laughs> realized this then we were so happy uh, we went out to celebrate and uh, we got I think we got 50% of our uh, of the initial uh, uh, pledge request in 24 hours and then we knew that okay there's a very very high chance that this will go and that made us very happy uh, and the rest of the month was just hard work, pushing out updates, trying to show as much as possible of the game. Like we only had a really thin prototype and some screenshots and some concept art. Just try to, to work as hard as possible to get as much content out. Uh, and it went well. We have uh, the game up and running. Uh, we're making it in Unity, which makes uh, makes it. The, the, the process of making it is quite quickly. You can just basically build something and press play, and then you can start playing it. Uh, so it's going really well. Uh, we have, uh, we're working towards uh, a vertical slice for the end of this year. Um, but we have now some playable stuff. Uh, we have one scene with uh, Zoe in, um, in Europolis, which is like the futuristic world, a bit dark. Uh, and we have one scene with the, with the Kian in uh, Forest Keep, where uh, Forest Keep was also uh, a part of a Dreamfall game. So, so we have a couple of uh, game snippets, I would say, that try to encapture all the different elements of the game. Uh, a bit of the puzzle solving, a bit of the conversation, a bit of the atmosphere, a bit of the lighting and the feel of the game. And we're just basically building upon that. Uh, already have tons of stuff. Uh, prototyped and blocked out without graphics, just sort of very rough. But it's going along uh, really quickly. Uh, I don't know if we would do a public demo. 
uh, we'll definitely do beta testing and stuff like that. Sort of the greatest value of the game is the story. And we don't want to spoil any of the story before release. Uh, so, and the game, the beginning of the game is quite special, I would say. Uh, we need to wrap up a few things, uh, loose ends from, uh, from Dreamfall. So sort of just playing the beginning of the game wouldn't make sense. Or I don't think people would like it either. So uh, we'll think about it, but probably not. Yeah, we have, we have actually changed her now. Uh, she, uh, she looks more like the original Zoe now uh, than she, uh, she did in the Kickstarter videos. We, we changed her a bit, a little bit to make, it, make her look a bit more like she did in the, in the previous games. Yeah, we have uh, our uh, release date is November uh, 2014. Thank you guys. Thank you. Dreamer, the next chapter in your life begins.